Hey yo, E King Fight News. Let's talk about it. The Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder, Vladimir Klitschko, the man they say he ducked. The man they say, oh, why didn't Wilder fight Klitschko? That's the reason why he's ducking AJ. <laughs> you know, fans are crazy, huh? But you know what? This is the real reason. I'm going to bring it out to you. This is the reason why we never got to see this fight. Wilder versus Vladimir Klitschko. He can't fight these guys. All right, so, I mean, the stories we were led to believe, especially from these guys out of the UK, I mean, Johnny Nelson. Johnny Nelson really brought it out there and basically said, I swear he said that Vladimir Klitschko basically laid out Deontay Wilder in training. Yet, yet and still, he never had any interest in fighting Deontay Wilder in any capacity. I mean, Vladimir Klitschko at that time, heavyweight champion, he was pretty clear A-side versus anybody. And, I mean, what, 10-year reign? The, the dude was uh, really a marvel in terms of how, is he, how he was able to resurrect his career after repeated stamina problems. I mean, what Emmanuel Stewart did for Vladimir Klitschko, I think is so underrated. And, of course, rest in peace, Emmanuel Stewart, man. Um, so, Vladimir, basically, at that point in time, he had, he had really ran through some of the quote-unquote top Americans. He did beat Bryant Jennings. And I'm not even too sure how that fight came about because, I mean, uh, I guess at that time there wasn't a standout stand out stand out like the top american fighter because guess what they hadn't fought each other i mean brian jennings was out there deontay wilder was out there um you had that dude seth mitchell and shit man he was trying to come up but but he wasn't really shit yeah chris Ariola out there um and i'm just talking about top american fighter and Ariola, mexican american you know how it is so eventually all that shit got cleared out. And of course, it's Deontay Wilder that rose to the top. But let's let's really get into it, man. Because we have to remember, both of these guys were managed by the same guy. Shelly Finkel. Right? The Winkle. <laughs> the Winkle, is, as Eddie Hearn would call him. Shelly Finkel's the man that managed both these guys. So let, let's dig deeper, guys. E King Fight News. Y'all know what it is. All right, so shout out to um, Box Rec. All right, as you can see, they still have this weird ass message here. But, anyways, Deontay Wilder, 39 knockouts, 40 and 0. And back in 2015, January, is when Shelly Finkel made this statement about we're not going to rush Deontay Wilder into a Vladimir Klitschko fight, right? Y'all remember that? So 2015 January, he actually fought Bermain Stavern, and I think he said that before the Bermain Stavern fight, uh, it ended up going 12 rounds. Now this version, this version of Bermain Stavern was a very, was a much better fighter, was a much more active fighter than... Um, the guy that Deontay Wilder ended up knocking out. The guy that Deontay Wilder knocked out um, in, in what, 2017? Where it was a brutal one-punch destruction of Bermain Stavern. It wasn't even a fucking contest. That was a massacre. Now, the Bermain Stavern fight happened. And it went 12 rounds. Deontay Wilder had to rely on his boxing skills, actually, to win this fight. Right? For, for whatever reason, he wasn't able to land that, that Alabama slam, as they call it. That, that one punch, one hitter quitter. And after that, you know, I mean, that was his first title here. This is a WBC title. He grabs that title. 
and and he went on to fight some some decent opposition, right? Johan Duhapas, I mean, he fought him in 2015. Fucking Jarrell Miller gets credit, all this credit for fighting Johan Duhapas. Fucking Alexander Povetkin, he, he's supposed to get all this credit for beating Johan Duhapas and fucking sneakers and shit. But but Deontay Wilder beats this man, knocks him out. No credit at all. Eric Merlina, knockout. Arthur Spilka, beautiful left hook knockout. Chris Ariola, he broke his fucking hand. Still knocked him out. Gerald Washington, one hit, lights out. I mean, I mean, he, he's basically running through the, the Americans available, you know, looking for a fucking fight. But my point is this. 2015, right? Bermain Stavern. Let, let, let's take a look at, at what Josh was doing in 2015, by the way. Or, or more importantly, what Vladimir Klitschko was doing. In 2015. So let's take a quick look. Hold on a sec. Alright, so 2015, as you can see, in April, Vladimir Klitschko had that Brian Jennings fight in Madison Square Garden. Uh, he beat up on Brian Jennings and went the distance. Unanimous decision. And then after that, he ended up fighting Tyson Fury, who was the WBO mandatory, if I'm not mistaken, in Dusseldorf, right? So Tyson Fury went over to Germany. It said, fuck it. Let's get it. Let's get it, Vladimir. Let's get it. And, um, and Vladimir accepted the challenge. So, you know, shout out to him. But, but my point is this, man. Vladimir Klitschko took Tyson Fury, who was mandatory at the time. Right? He was mandatory for his title. Deontay Wilder just picked up the WBC. Once you pick up the WBC, you're not going to be ranked in any of these bodies is that true yeah so while they're not being ranked having Shelly Finkel on his side absolutely helped him but for whatever reason Shelly Finkel didn't want to make this fight happen I mean point blank he didn't want to make the fight happen and may maybe it's it's because Shelly Finkel thought he could make a lot more money off of Vladimir Klitschko. I mean, he just beat Brian Jennings. He's got Tyson Fury. That's going to be an easy fight. Maybe he underestimated Tyson Fury. And maybe he also knew that, you know, Vladimir Klitschko never had the best chin. Never had the best chin when it came to fighting power punchers. You look at Corey Sanders. Look at what he did to Corey Sanders. Look at what Vladimir... Look, watch, watch Vladimir Klitschko versus Corey Sanders, guys. YouTube that shit. Watch it. Y'all y'all know... Did, did you know what happened in that fight? Dude got knocked the fuck out. Right? Got knocked the fuck out and it was by a right hand. So, I mean, that, that'll let you know. You don't have to be the best technical fighter. You don't have to be the most skilled guy to beat a Vladimir Klitschko. You need fucking power... And you need fucking, uh, you need some fucking heart. You need some fucking will. Because you're going to have to take it. But if you can dish it out on him, it's going to be, it's going to be lights out for Klitschko. And, 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 and to, I'll tell you this, to that day, in recent memory, the biggest puncher Vladimir Klitschko has fought since fighting, what, Corey Sanders? Look at how many punchers he's been in the ring with. I'd say the biggest one was a fucking blown up cruiserweight in David Hay in recent memory. So what does that tell you about the guys Klitschko likes to fight? Right? Tyson Fury, never a massive puncher. He took that L towards the end of his career. And, and, and of course, that's where it's time to cash out. I mean, at the time, Deontay Wilder wasn't exactly a cash out fight. Right? Shelly Finkel's getting paid more. Off of off of a off of, off of a Joshua fight. At that time, not only not only because Joshua had, had turned into a draw in the UK, but the fact is, Vladimir Klitschko felt more confident fighting Anthony Joshua than he did fighting Deontay Wilder. 
I mean, that's facts. That's just facts. Joshua has had very, you know, learning, very, very strong learning experiences in there with Vladimir Klitschko. Deontay Wilder went in there with Klitschko and walked out and felt like he could be champion of the world. Anthony Joshua, he's the guy that got knocked the fuck out by Vladimir Klitschko in sparring. Why do you think Klitschko want, wanted that fight so bad? Klitschko wanted that fight, right? And when, and when two guys want to make a fight happen, because that's, that's, a, that's a fight Eddie Hearn wanted for Joshua. Off of a loss, off of that layoff, that's the fight he wanted for Joshua. He secured that fight for Joshua, and the rest is history. So, I mean... I'm not sure how much more detail I can go Wilder went about his business. Those guys didn't want to fight him. Klitschko was never in a rush to fight him. It was Deontay Wilder calling this dude out with no response. I mean, could he have pushed Shelly Finkel a, a bit harder? Yeah, but I, don't th I, I truly don't believe Shelly Finkel wanted to make that fight happen. And, and I, I'm just going to leave it at that. I think Shelly Finkel is the real reason why we never got to see Deontay Wilder versus Vladimir Klitschko, man. I mean, he managed both fighters. He saw Wilder on the rise, and he saw Klitschko on his way out. But at the same time, he got greedy, and he thought, hey, man, he th he, I'm sure Shelly Finkel believed in his heart that Klitschko could beat Joshua like he did in sparring. But sometimes... When you got a young, hungry lion out there. And at some point, at one point in his career, Joshua was a young, hungry lion. He, he's not anymore. He clearly isn't. Because we would have saw this Wilder fight if, if he was actually hungry to prove he's the best. But he felt like he did that with the, with the Klitschko fight. And, you know, it's history at the end of the day. It was a real good fight for Joshua. But don't forget... You know, in boxing, not all things are as clear-cut. You know, for a guy like Wilder, for a guy like Wilder to take on a Vladimir Klitschko, um, it would it would have been. It, it, I don't I don't even think Klitschko was even thinking about Deontay Wilder. You know, at at that time, he just grabbed the WBC title, and it it, it would have been an opportunity. It actually would have been an opportunity for Klitschko to be undisputed, right? Did he pursue undisputed? I don't think so. So it is what it is, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think, man. I, I really believe Shelly Finkel was the guy behind that fight not happening. And Shelly Finkel went on to run Klitschko into a loss against Tyson Fury, big mistake. And maybe he, we, maybe he was partially protecting Wilder because he didn't want to see this young future star get, get, get put in with a guy with that much seasoning a little too quick in his career. So let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, you know, you, you can hate if you want, but you better fucking subscribe, man. You can't fight these, man.